Good afternoon. For those who are new, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in today's briefing, we will be discussing SCP-6605. For content warnings, we have brief depictions of violent altercations. As Foundation staff, I'm certain most of you are well acclimated to this, but for those who are not ready for this today, I'll see you in the next briefing. With that out of the way, let's begin. Item Number SCP-6605 Object Class Uncontained Special Containment Procedures On January 16, 1985, SCP-6605 was reported missing. See Addendum 6605-1. If located, SCP-6605 is to be returned to Site-19's cold storage facility. Following Incident 6605-2, see Addendum 6605-2, D-86753 is to be monitored by increased security detail until cleared and released into the public per standard D-Class Amnestic Release Protocol. Description SCP-6605 was the severed left foot of D-86753, which had been removed from the lower leg during an altercation at Stateville Correctional Facility in Crest Hill, Illinois. Despite being disconnected from any other sections of a human body, SCP-6605 is still capable of locomotion. Autopsy of SCP-6605 shows that the vessels and arteries of SCP-6605 continue to pump blood throughout SCP-6605, despite not being connected to a heart or any secondary method of blood production. SCP-6605 was first discovered while D-86753 was still a resident of Stateville Correctional Facility, after they engaged another resident in an argument which escalated to hand-to-hand -hand combat. During the altercation, D-86753 produced a switchblade, which was immediately taken by their opponent and used to cut into their left Achilles tendon. After D-86753 collapsed, their opponent used the blade to cut through the cartilage connecting the tibia and fibula to the talus. Footnote 1, during the shock, D-86753 took the blade from their opponent and slit the opponent's throat. D-86753 was taken to the facility's infirmary, where they recovered and received a prosthetic foot. SCP-6605 was brought to the Foundation's attention after SCP-6605 jumped from its temporary cold storage container and continued in the direction of the infirmary's exit despite the Achilles tendon still having been severed. D-86753 was admitted as a member of D-Class personnel in order to test for correlating anomalous phenomena. Addendum 6605-1 Incidents Incident 6605-1 General Incident Report, January 16, 1985 Involved items or persons. SCP-6605, D-86753. Incident description. At 12.35 hours during the daily scheduled D-Class courtyard period, D-86753 shattered a window in Site-19's cold storage facility and was apprehended in the facility. Footnote 2, this occurred despite security footage showing D-86753 reading in the courtyard at the time. On inspection, SCP-6605 was found missing. D-86753 no longer wore a prosthetic, but rather possessed a fully functional left foot. D-86753 was interviewed, but showed no knowledge of how they arrived in the facility, nor the whereabouts of SCP-6605 or how they regained their foot. D-86753 was returned to their cell afterwards. Incident 6605-2 General Incident Report, January 16, 1985 Involved Items or Persons D-86753 D-86753 Incident Description At 12.47 hours, D-86753 was heard screaming from their cell. After inspection, D-86753 was found laying in their cell next to their own corpse. The corpse was identical to D-86753 except that its left foot had been severed and replaced with a prosthetic, and its neck had been slit open by a sharp object. D-86753 was found holding a shard of broken glass which had been covered in blood, presumably used to cut the corpse's throat. D-86753's right arm was found to have been severed at the elbow. D-86753 was taken to the facility's infirmary, and the severed arm was taken to Site-19's cold storage facility. Thank you for listening. Site-42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.